morning so I'm preparing my evening meal and I'm looking at what ingredients I've got in the fridge because I like to try and use up things I've got I've got this half an onion which is going in the base here I'm going to rest my chicken on that give a bit of light fry I like to use the garlic and uh, sometimes a chili one that's going in there so what's next I'm going to slice up some tomatoes I was thinking about uh, covering my chicken breast in um, breadcrumbs. I don't know, sometimes I think I use too many carbs, so I thought I'd try something a little bit different. I absolutely love roasted tomatoes. So I'm just going to pop the chicken there like so. A teaspoon of harissa paste, which is free, on no count. Right, it's just going over my chicken. Just spread it over like so. You could use anything. You could um, use mustard if you don't want to go this flavour route. I think this is going to work really well with the tomatoes. Yummy. There you go. And then I'm just going to um, slice the lime up. And I'm going to just place that just underneath a little bit so it gets some of the flavour into it when it's cooking. And the other bit on top. Yummy. Squeeze the lime in. A little bit of seasoning. the tomatoes hopefully if I put a little cut in maybe they might lay over the chicken breast a little easier and cook into the shape of the meat we can hope there you go. they are kind of lying over the breast a little easier rather than just being a flat circle like so then this is going to uh, cook into my meat a bit of sort of a roast tomato topping absolutely gorgeous a bit more fine the sides there on there now um just before it's served you could take it out and sprinkle over maybe five grams of cheese let that melt into the top but all of these should be absolutely scrumptious when they're baked through. So the only thing I'm going to do is a bit more seasoning on top. And a little bit of balsamic vinegar because this will give a lovely sticky glaze to the tomatoes and the onions as they cook through. Now I will start this uh, with foil. And uh, for about 20 minutes. And then I'll take the foil off for the last 10 minutes or so of cooking. It's quite a thick piece at the one end, so um, you may take a little longer to cook, maybe half an hour. So what do you think? I'll update you later with the offerings of my tomato and harissa chicken. Wow, that's looking pretty good. I'm very impressed. So this is the uh, baked and tomato topped chicken I made earlier. I'm just going to get it out because I've got quite a lot of broccoli there. I don't have broccoli very often. I really fancied it today. And look at all this lovely juice. I'm just going to pour that. It's all from the limes, look. And the onions. I'm going to pour that over my broccoli. It smells absolutely beautiful. Oops. Okay, and the other thing I made earlier was my butternut squash. Now it's half of the uh, butternut squash that I did yesterday and I've just stuffed it with fresh chilies and some blue cheese. Three points worth of blue cheese I splashed out today. And I'm just going to serve that with my lovely chicken dinner. Wow, absolutely fantastic. What do you think? I'm going to go and join my dinner. What do you give a go?